Out of shot now. Okay, just about there, William. Okay, I'm gonna queue. <laughs> I'm an accidental broadcaster. Like many people who become uh, television or radio presenters, I, I got into this business accidentally. I started off, first of all, as a contributor on radio programs, and then I made more radio programs, and the BBC asked me to uh, present some documentaries on radio. And from there, I was offered a job presenting my own radio program, which is a Sunday morning, one hour, 45 minute long discussion program based on issues around religion, ethics, news, current affairs, politics, arts, ideas, really. Uh, and out of that, um, developed a career in broadcasting, a full-time career eventually, when, when the BBC suggested that I might develop into television work. So for the past uh, three, nearly four years now, that's, that's what I've been doing. We are sitting in Mount Sandal near Coleraine, which is the site of the earliest human settlement in all of Ireland. And it's uh, a very significant place for us in the Blueprint project because we're making a three-part television natural history series which attempts to tell the story of 600 million years of Irish and Northern Irish natural history. This project began quite some time ago with, with an idea which developed into a commission proposal which was then commissioned and in the words of the head of broadcasting in BBC Northern Ireland is the most ambitious multi-platform commission BBC Northern Ireland has ever engaged in. And it uh, brings together an enormous number of people. See, what we were just doing there was negotiating, renegotiating. We've been doing this for weeks. Uh, the bits of the script that will be out of vision, that's called an oeuvre, and the bits of the script that will be in vision or IV, sometimes called those pieces to camera, where I look directly at the camera and I, and I address the viewer with these words rather than have a voice over. That's the kind of distinction. Clearly as a presenter, I'm interested in that distinction because it tells me immediately how much of this script I need to commit to memory. But this section, you can have a look at these words, it doesn't look like much on the page, does it? Uh, by coming here to Mount Sandal, which is the oldest settlement human settlement in Ireland. These, these, this doesn't look like much. It's about 20 seconds of delivery. But unfortunately for me, I have to deliver this in what will be a computer generated hut, which means that we have to use a green screen and we're going to put a fire in the hut. So how do you put a fire inside a computer generated hut on this site with me saying 20 seconds of words, all of which will add up to a technical problem which will last about an hour to resolve. And, and then and only then can we begin to work on the material we actually came here to film today. So at this point I'm beginning to wonder how long is this day going to be? There is a multitasking role for uh, all of us in the programme really, that's the truth of it. Um, the producer doesn't just produce, she writes and researches. The presenter doesn't just present. I've been involved in the re research dimension of the programme and in the writing. Uh, we will pull together script meetings which involve the producers, that the researchers, myself, and we will make literally 20 plus drafts of the script, full shooting scripts, before we approach the academic advisors and ask them to go through all of that with a fine tooth comb. I've noticed an increasing demand for versatility in presenters in the last three, four years. And it's something I'm quite comfortable with in that I enjoy working on radio, I enjoy uh, the television production business and, and I'm, I'm a natural blogger so that, that came naturally to me as well. I, I write on a daily basis, uh, it's not a chore for me. I mean I'm lucky, I, I can't actually now think of a job that would uh, more naturally meet my personality traits. So I, I, I do feel that at times and sometimes when I get up very early in the morning it doesn't feel like I'm lucky. You know if we're doing a dawn shot at 4.30 in the morning at an Oam stone and the Sperrins. Um, but from time to time, you just have to prick yourself and say, you know, this isn't really work. 
you know, this is like, this is like reading a book. This is great.